the, uh, major indices were down, but you know there's some mixed signals. UPS was negative, but Microsoft was positive. Boston Scientific this morning signaling some hope in the healthcare space. Uh, how does an investor sort through all this? Yeah, you're, you're continuing to get very, very mixed signals out of this earnings season. Um, you know, I think in aggregate, it's been an encouraging season. You're seeing a lot of companies beat expectations. You're seeing a lot of impressive margin improvement, which has kind of been one of my big themes in this earnings season, that companies had a lot of un unappreciated earnings tailwinds that would help offset macro uncertainty. I guess one critique or one complaint that some people have is that you aren't seeing companies raise guidance by as much as they're beating in Q1, which is an implicit cut to guidance for the back half of the year. Um, I think that's kind of one, one criticism that some people are giving uh, to this earnings season so far, but it's only one quarter in and you still have a lot of uncertainty. So if you're a management team, I don't think you're going to go too far out on a limb, but right. I think earnings is really, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, can you blame them in this environment? No, absolutely. I, you know, I don't think the management team really should be going out far on a limb. But I think the, the Q1 results for themselves were solid, especially on the margin front, like I said. So I don't blame earnings so much for what's been happening. I think a lot of it has to do with the debt ceiling and then the ongoing first, um, you know, the, the bank uncertainty with First Republic that's still kind of lurking out there. Yeah, I, I do want to touch on that with you, Adam, because we saw First Republic plunge again today. You saw more negative headlines uh, around that bank. You even saw trading halted uh, at, at one point uh, during the session. But we also have gotten results from the other regional names, including PacWest yesterday, which was which, which much more resilient than investors had been expected going into that print, too. So how to make sense of that and the fact that it certainly seems to be contributing to this very negative sentiment overall? No, absolutely. And I, you know, and I appreciate it. it's disconcerting to watch a bank, any bank, even if it's a smaller regional, trade like the way First Republic is trading. But I think you made a great point. We're coming out of a week and a half of bank earnings. We've heard from pretty much the entire bank industry. Maybe a few regionals are still to come. And the regionals definitely face earnings headwinds, but it is not facing a systemic deposit crisis like people thought was occurring back in March. The deposit figures, the liquidity figures from pretty much every single bank, very robust. The Fed has introduced liquidity facilities in case there is another, another panic that occurs. So I think the First Republic situation is relatively contained. And isolated. Um, and I think the market kind of is of the same view. But again, it is disconcerting to watch the price action go on. And, you know, I yeah. think there's going to be some type of resolution within the next several days, you know, whether they, they strike some type of a dilutive deal or, mm -hmm. or the FDIC intervenes.